produced water is a byproduct. Um, it's um, a waste stream. It is by far the largest um, waste stream uh, produced um, in oil production. Um, as fields become more mature, there is an increasing amount of water being produced. Um, currently, some 250 million barrels of water is being produced every day from this oil field. Lovely, we're talking about for every bottle of oil, there is a three bottle of water um, being produced. Now, what we do with this water, um, this water uh, is being treated and then either uh, injected into formation or discharged into sea or uh, surface water somewhere. Um, now, oil in water is an important parameter and um, that needs to be measured and it's used for um, uh, compliance monitoring and also been used for process control and monitoring. Well, produced water is um, a complex uh, mixture um, of things. It contains oil, first of all, dispersed and dissolved. It contains organic acid and the phenols and um, carboxylic acid. And um, it also has salt and solid, and uh, um, also it contains production chemicals and uh, heavy metals as well as um, radioactive materials. Um, if Douglas Westwood's um, 2005 report is to be believed, some 2.1 million bottles of oil is discarded through the discharge and the injection of produced water. Now, obviously, it's a waste, um, and also um, the discharge of oil in produced water can cause uh, some threat to the environment. Why do we need to measure oil in produced water? There are two reasons why we need to measure uh, oil in produced water. First of all, it's uh, a regulatory requirement. Uh, you need to meet uh, the discharge standard. Uh, secondly, it's uh, for process uh, control and monitoring purpose. The benefits of measuring uh, oil in produced water are fourfold. First of all, um, it, the, it can be used to, to optimize your process. And uh, secondly, um, it's a requirement uh, for regulatory compliance. And uh, thirdly, it's for data collection to allow uh, regulators and uh, oil companies to establish the uh, um, better environment policy in the future. Uh, the fourth point is um, um, money saving. Um, by measuring oil in uh, produced water, it allows you to know precisely how much of oil is being discarded uh, through the discharge and reinjection of produced water. So uh, that will allow you to um, um, uh, make some savings if you can manage uh, the process better. The process involves a few steps. Uh, the first one is you need to do a calibration with your um, analysis, analysis method. And secondly, you need to go and take a representative sample. After you take the sample, um, you do a sample treatment, and then uh, followed on that is a sample extraction using a solvent. Uh, after the uh, extraction, uh, you uh, do a cleaning up. And then after that, you quantify the oil in your sample uh, extract. The purpose of uh, uh, cleaning up is to really to remove um, the polo component uh, in your sample extracted. Uh, polo components uh, are not necessarily included uh, um, in the oil in produced water. Uh, figures uh, for the purpose of reporting. So that's why it's important to remove those components before the figures are used for purpose of reporting. <laughs>